now to Health Watch. 77% of all Americans have smartphones. Local 5's Connie Feldman shows us what all that smart technology is really doing to our brain power. Take a look around the room you're in right now. Most of us have a smartphone in our hands, within arm's length, or tucked into a pants pocket. For years, researchers have made a case that smart technology may be bad for our brain power. Now, some researchers want you to know what they've discovered about digital devices and dumbing down. Information at the touch of our fingertips, or many touches of our fingertips. I think I'm on my phone for a good, like, this is going to sound really bad, for a good, like, 10 hours, maybe. Some scientists have theorized that scrolling quickly through multiple open apps makes us unfocused. Others have said that young people especially lose cognition or brain power when machines do the work for them. If there's not a calculator on your phone, I can never see kids add up anymore. Researchers studied four dozen published reports on smart tech use. They say despite the headlines... The arguments that they are making us dumber don't hold up. Instead, Shimero suggests smart technology makes us smarter. It's because what it's doing is enhancing our abilities to do smart things. And it enhances our abilities to do smart things by kind of offloading some of the tasks to a piece of technology. Technology that calculates, stores information, and memorizes. Young people now don't know anyone's phone numbers. They might know their parents' phone numbers. Sometimes they don't even know their own phone number. So again, all that memory storage that we devoted to remembering phone numbers we can now use for something else. For example, learning a new language or how to cook or draw. And while there are drawbacks to smartphone use, like tech neck, sore digits, and disrupted sleep patterns, Shimero says making us dumb is not one. Professor Shimero also said there are consequences to using certain types of apps. For example, some social media sites have been thought to decrease teens' self-confidence and well-being. But again, that smart tech use is not impacting cognition. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 5 News.